Hello everyone, welcome to Bloomin' Arrangements. Today I am making a simple centerpiece. It could be for a wedding, a baby shower, it could be for anything you actually like. It is going to be in a cube. It's gonna consist of white hydrangeas, pink roses, and of course the greens. Um, today I actually, what I did is since it is um, a low arrangement, we need to support it with green tape or <clears throat> any tape that you have at home this helps hold the flowers where it doesn't actually fall apart while you're transporting it or handling it or whatnot so always the best way to go is tape all right so i'm gonna go ahead and start with my greening this is gonna be the base underneath so no one is really going to see it it just helps hold the flowers Just fill in all the little squares that you see. This is called leather leaf. Um, it's the cheaper or the cheapest greens, so it could be more affordable. Then we do put nice, uh, nicer greens in between later on for whatever we want to show. You don't have to be too precise with this because again, you don't see it. Okay. And now I'm gonna cut <clears throat> my hydrangeas, which I will be honest, I used them before. So I figured instead of wasting them, I'll make you a centerpiece so you guys can see. So I just clip off whatever is too much. All right, so I pretty much have all my spaces filled. Now I'm gonna place the roses. These roses absolutely beautiful. They are called Rosalind. So just in case you're curious at how long to leave the stem of the rose, I usually just, I don't measure because I'm so used to it, but you can go ahead, clip this off and see measure like this. So you would have to take about this much off and it'll be the perfect height that you're looking for. For the rose petals, I just take whatever doesn't look too pretty. So I just, trim it off and you pretty much have a flawless rose. Okay. 
so you can put as little roses as you want and as many as you want you like a lot of roses you can go ahead and go crazy or you can just leave it nice and simple I happen to have a lot of roses today so Now we are going to use greens called variegated pit. Gives it a nice little accent in between. Turn it around. You can leave it like this, which is very simple, nothing to it, or you can go ahead and add something, you know, something else, like pop out um, tulips, you can pop out stock, which I happen to have. Give me one moment. So I am going to add stock just to show you how it would look if you put a little wisp to it. Just different options. And for those who do want to recreate this, I will leave the names of all the flowers in the description box. Um, if you have any requests, you can go ahead, ask any questions you like. You can always go with hanging amaranthus to make it unique, something like this, different, or you can just keep it simple. And there you go. If you have any questions, please do ask. And I hope you did like it and find it useful and helpful for any event, any upcoming events that you have. Um, if you did like it, please like and subscribe. Thank you and have a great day.